What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Big Play Ray and I need all of you all to help me and welcome our special guest. That's right, we have a special guest on my channel today. You may already know him because he has a very large YouTube channel already and if you check out a few of his videos you'll see why he already has a large channel. He brings a lot to the fitness community here on YouTube and partially uh, that's in part due to his background. I mean he has a slew of national certifications uh, in personal training. Uh, he actually used to be the personal training director of a large gym in his, in his hometown um, and I've got a chance to speak with him uh, through emails, uh, several emails back and forth prior to this video. He's also a strength and conditioning coach and you know he has a background in sports rehabilitation. So I guarantee you that you will learn something from his channel. I was introduced to his channel a few weeks back when Brandon with Campbell Fitness featured him as a YouTuber of the month. And I'm really glad he did that because it's definitely been an awesome channel. Uh, he definitely brings some comic relief to his videos too, so it's not going to bore you. Um, definitely makes the subject interesting and definitely brings the truth to the subject. That's the biggest thing, people. I wouldn't put my name on a lot of channels on YouTube, but his channel, definitely put my name on. Definitely would. You all would definitely benefit from his channel. It's not going to lead you in the wrong direction, especially with his background in sports rehabilitation. He shows you a lot or talks a lot about a lot of exercises and shows you a lot of things that's going to prevent you from getting injured you know because that's just not cool um, and then you know his actual but by him being a nutritionist what he brings to the table as far as diet is definitely going to put you on the track you need to reach your fitness goals so I'm gonna quit rambling check out this video that he's about to do now I'm about to introduce it now and then make sure you check out the video that I did for him on his channel Hey guys, what's going on? Chef Buff here, and I want to thank first of all Big Play Ray for doing this collaboration. The guy is a beast. Today I'm going to give you the best methods for breaking through that strength plateau, whether it be on the squat, bench press, or deadlift. Number one, fix your weak links. Whether whatever the weak area might be on the bench, let's say it's your triceps, on the squat, let's say it's your hamstrings, on the deadlift, it might be your grip, whatever it is, you have to do assistance work to bring up that lagging area. Assistance work is specific movements that are aimed at bringing up your major movements. So if you're weak, let's say in the hamstrings, you might do some reverse hypers. If you only have leg curls, by doing some leg curl work, by doing some pull throughs, assistance movements to help bring up that major lift. By fixing that weak link, your entire chain of your body, your posterior chain, it doesn't matter what, will be a lot stronger and you'll immediately see an increase in your strength. Number two, don't always do straight sets. So if you're stuck at say 225 on the bench times five, so you do five sets of five reps, change it up. Do something along the lines of wave loading. So what you do is you select a weight for that day, depending on the day, how you feel, knock out five great reps. Let's say you actually get up to 230 on that day. Then you'd wave around that weight with different loads. So you go down maybe about, about 10 pounds, so about 220, then you increase it by five pounds every single subsequent set. You're playing around with your total load selection, so you're always changing or always challenging your body to adapt. Your nervous system won't have enough time or provide new stimulus for growth and strength. Three, do speed work. We all like to lift heavy ass weights, but we often forget that force equals mass times acceleration. So you also have to put a big emphasis on how fast you can explode on movements. Usually what I like to do or what I recommend is when you start a workout on the lighter movements, you'd focus on that explosive work and you want to build neural efficiency. How much muscle fibers or how many muscle fibers you can activate when you're training any one specific body part. In addition for neural efficiency, doing simple things, priming your body before you work out like broad jumps, vertical jumps, medicine ball slams and throws are a great tool in order to activate your nervous system. You want to focus always first on being as explosive as possible. Possible. The more explosive you are, the more muscle fibers you can recruit or the more neural pathways you can establish, the more strength or the more weight you'll be able to lift. Four, mobility work. Remember, a tight muscle is an inhibited muscle, a muscle that you actually can't activate or use. So it's very important wherever you're tight, for most people, once again, let's use the legs, hamstrings, you gotta work over that area, either by doing direct dynamic mobility work, so doing movements that are gonna assist in increasing that flexibility through that range of motion, or by doing just uh, some simple foam rolling, some stretching, or qualified massage therapist not the one with the happy ending are we are we talking about that today uh, no we're not talking about that today five recovery the most neglected aspect you got to make sure for sure when you're working out that your workout nutrition is adequate so you're getting enough calories in the day enough quality nutrition you're sleeping enough to recover and you're also when you're training you're training because you're going for strength for performance you're trying to have always a better workout the next subsequent workout so you want to make sure you're resting enough you want to make sure you're recovering enough you want to make sure you're mobilizing enough and eating enough key emphasis also should be placed on omega-3s anti-inflammatory foods lots of vegetables 
vegetables, lots of fruits obviously, lots of water to make sure that your body has the proper nutrients to recover and grow faster and thus get stronger. Guys, that is the video. I wanted to keep it short and simple because honestly, those tips are all you really need in order to break through a strength plateau. The big basics will always remain just that because they've been used since time immemorial to produce results. Hey guys, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. I want to give a shout out once again to my man Big Play Ray for actually doing this collaboration in the first place. You can check out more of my fitness videos on my channel where you'll find the video that Big Play Ray did today on sleep and recovery. That's the end of the video guys. Make sure to stay strong, train hard. This is Chef Buff signing out. Till next time, peace.